Okay, and now for part three of the camera controls assignment. Part one was to run or adjust all of your shutter speeds. The second part of the assignment was to run or adjust all of your f-stops, okay? Now the third part of the assignment is to try and do what's called equivalent exposure, where we're going to adjust the shutter speed and then we're going to adjust the aperture so that we maintain the same exposure as we make the adjustments to the camera. Now that involves actually reading the light meter and what we're going to try and do is look at the light meter and try to keep the indicator as close to the zero as possible. And the light meter will look something like this. The minus would be less or underexposed. The plus will be overexposed. Okay? So we want to look at underexposed, overexposed. We want to try and zero the light meter and keep it as close to the center point or the zero scale as possible. Now the light meter shows up in the viewfinder or in the display on the back of the camera so it's pretty easy to see. All right? But it's also inside the viewfinder as you go to take a picture. So as you hold the button halfway down in the very bottom of the frame you'll see this same setup with the 3210 on both sides. That's your light meter. Try to keep the light meter as close to zero as possible. So I'm looking at my scene here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And my light meter says if I take this picture at 5.6 at a 30th of a second at ISO 400, we haven't changed the ISO so just leave it at 400, a 30th at 5.6 that we have a good exposure. And that looks pretty decent. I'm happy with that. So now we want to change. We want to change the aperture to f8. So I'm going to hold the little button down and change the aperture to f8. Okay? Now that is one stop darker from 5, 6 to 8. So in order to maintain equivalent exposure I need to increase or open up the shutter speed one stop more light. So now I have to go and adjust the, the uh, shutter speed from a 30th of a second to a 15th. One stop. Now if I take that exact same picture, it should look the same and it looks very similar to the one I just took. All right, so let's try that part of the experiment again. I want to change the aperture from f8 to f11. Okay, have that changed. Now I have to change my shutter speed from a fifteenth of a second to an eighth of a second. So I've gone one stop darker on my aperture or my f-stop. Now I need to go one stop brighter on my shutter speed. So watch as I take that picture. And if you look at it, and now we're going to compare it. So there's uh, an eighth of a second at f11. There's a fifteenth of a second at f8. And there's a thirtieth of a second at 5.6. And all three of those pictures have the exact same tonality. So the exposure is the same. And that is the foundation of photography, and that is called equivalent exposure. All right? Good luck with that.